Hello everybody, Scott Golden here with the Wrestling Challenge review for the, um, let's see, 20, um, let's see, 21st or so? I'm sorry, no, the 11th of April 2021. Not a bad deal there by any stretch of the imagination. The time is coming post-WrestleMania, and post-WrestleMania is usually a time of rebuilding. Although, summer seems to be a bigger rebuilding in 1993, with Hogan leaving in June. So, uh, needless to say, includes a Vince McMahon, Randy Savage, Jerry Lawler, um, no, that is the previous week on WrestleMania. This includes the debut of Jim Ross on Challenge, as he does commentary with Bobby Heenan featuring also Jack Tunney officially recognizing Hulk Hogan as the world champion to fight the protests of Mr. Fuji and Yokozuna. Jim, uh, Gene Okerlund also interviewing Yoko and Fuji following the WrestleMania 9 show, including a uh, Hall of Fame tribute video to honor Andre the Giant, who had passed away in January, and um, Sensational Sherry and Luna Vachon going at it at WrestleMania 9 via photo is there. Post-WrestleMania 9 report is also here. Sean Booty um, focusing on Undertaker and Giant Gonzalez. Uh, Rick and Scott Steiner defeating the uh, Executioners, which is a masked team. I think it was Barry Hardy and Glenn Ruth at the time, who are off in the... And Dwayne Gill is another one who plays that role. Steiner with a takedown gets a couple suplexes, rolls through Steiner. But actually, both Steiners. Scott, more specifically, though, uh, the Steiners are a, a hefty team at the time. They work very well together. Uh, the big back body drop on one of the executioners, trying to get things going in the direction of the Steiner brothers, and eventually the Frankensteiner leads to a victory there. Highlights, and Mr. Fuji says that he never signed a contract with Hulk Hogan on behalf of Yokozuna, therefore the title match should not uh, suffice. Uh, Jack Tunney says he, in fact, honors Hogan as the champion, and uh, the verbal contract will suffice. Uh, then we go back to more stuff in the ring. Reno Riggins is the uh, enhancement talent for the next match. Riggins going up against... Uh, uh, none other than Bam Bam Bigelow at the time. Bigelow punch kick body slams basic maneuvers. Bigelow really uh, a couple of months ahead of his biggest WWF match, probably with the Bret Hart thing in uh, the run here. And um, Bigelow tries to get everything going his way, diving headbutts, and then of course the top rope diving headbutt. Uh, Mr. Perfect in the back, basically saying uh, from WrestleMania 9, saying that he. Was jumped by Shawn Michaels, wasn't expecting it, is, un is unhappy. Uh, Bret Hart says that he was done wrong, but he still supports Hulk Hogan as the new champion. Of course, Hart at the time thinking that Hogan is going to give him the opportunity to uh, wrestle and for the championship. That does not come together and ultimately is not a good thing. Highlights in still photo form of... Uh, um, Sherry and Luna Vachon there. Tatanka... Up next, Tonka basically still um, post the WrestleMania 9 deal. Uh, still considered a pretty big baby face, probably one of the bigger baby faces uh, at the time, having had the best match of WrestleMania 9 with Shawn Michaels. Uh, chops both on the inside and outside of the ring by Tatanka on Glenn Ruth, who becomes later one of the headbangers. Um, Tatanka also gets a body slam and a very basic series of maneuvers, in, including the uh, Samoan drop, a.k.a. the Papoose to go if you're Bobby Heenan. Mr. Hughes comes in. I think this is one of his first matches. J.D. Stryker is his opponent. Hughes, of course, with Harvey Whippleman, uh, punch kick and uh, sidewalk slam and a power slam, which looks pretty good from um, Hughes. Hughes pulling his man up before hitting him with the sidewalk slam, choke slam style maneuver and ultimately leading to a uh, very basic deal here and ultimately managing to have clear, concise control of things. The Beverly Brothers and Little Lou Louie against the Bushwhackers and Tiger Jackson in the, I guess you'd say sweepstakes match because that's what it is. Tiger Jackson, of course, later goes on to be Dink uh, in the WWF. I'm not sure quite where Tiger Jackson comes from in terms of previous to that. Um, you know, 
basic uh, little person spots, including arm ringers, arm bars, and the biting of the backside of the referee. Also, the kickoff and the basic things there. Um, referee catching them and throwing them back on. Crisscross spot with one guy getting tripped up. And the midgets are pretty well in control in this particular match. Actually, it's turned into a singles match, and Tygo Jackson gets the victory. A commemorative uh, magazine for Andre the Giant's uh, passing and career is on the newsstands. Andre the Giant, of course, the first WWF Hall of Famer. Actually kind of sad. Would have loved to have seen what they had done for a uh, uh, long-term video piece for Andre, but I don't know that his daughter would have appeared at the Hall of Fame ceremony. Thus, it would have made a single induction without that uh, difficult uh, focus on the... Uh, Giant Gonzalez and and others uh, in a in a negative space. Terry Taylor, terrific Terry Taylor, returning to the WWF a couple of years after his um, run uh, with the, with World Championship Wrestling. I actually like the Terry Taylor 91 92 run. Anyway, Joey Mags is his opponent. Taylor, of course, the former Red Rooster. People chanting Rooster at him. He hits a chin crusher among other things and gets a pretty big victory there. Um, backbreaker slash chicken wing type maneuver and a gut wrench suplex also a vertical suplex taylor i don't know could have been something in 1993 but it doesn't really go the way he wants it to go jim duggan up next closing out um i guess you'd say the remainder of the program maybe uh something of that general nature but anyway uh hacksaw jim is in the uh in the run here, Jim Duggan defeating Barry Hardy, running clothesline 201, punches, kick, spinning slam, and ultimately the uh, jumping deal there. Uh, we get a pretty basic run here, and ultimately getting things together in that direction. We will be back with more right after this.